So Sirocco, listen everybody. Can you see which place of which place is this? Sirocco, Mediterranean Sea. Now you know Mediterranean Sea is the remnant of what ancient structure? Mediterranean Sea is the remnant of what ancient structure? I had taught you when we studied continental drift theory. Huh? Pangaea. Pangaea is land. How can a sea be remnant? Pantalasa's remnant is Pacific Ocean. Right? Mediterranean Sea is the remnant of the Thetis Sea. Remember the Thetis Sea, which divides the Pangaea and Pantalasa? It was closed when India came and hit here. Saudi Arabian plate came and hit here. And this part is the remnant of Thetis Sea. Okay? You can find out Mediterranean Sea. You can mark Ionian Sea. Can you see the Ionian Sea? Yes? Map of Europe you can see maybe. Map of Europe. Come on everybody. Take out, find out Mediterranean Sea. And find out. Okay. Thetis Sea. Did you find out Mediterranean Sea and Ionian Sea? And Mediterranean Sea there itself you can write it down. It is the remnant of the Thetis Sea. Write it down there itself so that you don't forget it again. Remnant of Thetis Sea. Write it in your atlas itself. Yeah. Okay. Now, next wind we are going to study is Sirocco. Okay. Now, this wind, okay, which continent is this, guys? Africa. You have the Sahara Desert, right? So, warm and dry wind that blows from the Sahara Desert northwards, it comes to the Mediterranean Sea. And during its movement, it carries red color sand from the desert okay and and again it crosses the mediterranean sea it carries some water with it and it brings rain to this region okay and this region we call as the we'll be studying next cyclones and then climate mediterranean type of climate they have long and dry summer. So they have summer for almost seven months and it is completely dry. We'll study that and this very exception of uh, Mediterranean type of climate, we'll study that. Okay. So when it is very dry, this rain, this wind, Sirocco, will cross the Mediterranean Sea and bring in some rain to this part. And it carries red color dust. So the rain would be red in color sometimes blood drain. Okay. This local wind is called with a different name in Egypt, Libya and Tunisia. Can you know what, what is the famous thing in Tunisia? Why is Tunisia very famous? Tunisia. The Jasmine Revolution started from Tunisia. You've heard about the Jasmine Revolution? No? Uh, 2014 around. Dictators from all these countries start, were thrown out by the people and people started demanding democracy. So it started from Tunisia, Libya, you, I think Mohammed Gaddafi was there, he was thrown out. Heard his name? No? So very important, you can go and check out Jasmine Revolution. Okay? And in Saudi Arabia it did not happen because the king gave two months of salary to everybody and said, enjoy, be cool. So, Saudi Arabia, there was no problem. Everybody got two months extra salary there, free of cost. So, rest, there were uprising of people against dictatorship rulers and um, they wanted democracy. Okay? Okay. So, write down. Sirocco. It is a warm, dry and dusty wind that blows in the northern direction from the Sahara Desert. It blows in the northern direction from the Sahara Desert. It crosses the Mediterranean Sea and it reaches Italy, Spain, etc. It crosses the Mediterranean Sea and it reaches Italy, Spain, etc. 
it is known as the blood rain it is known as blood rain due to the reddish sand brought from the sahara desert it gives respite from the long summer drought and it is called by different names in egypt this wind is called as khamsin in egypt this wind is called as khamsin in libya it is called as gibli and in tunisia it is called as chili so this you can get in the match the following right and all together this winds are called as sirocco are these winds dry wind or wet wind these winds originate from the desert so they will surely be dry winds understood yeah they carry moisture they become wet but they are dry winds okay they become wet it doesn't have the sea breeze because of weather conditions the primary winds blow from the west and here it blows from the east this part of the western side is comparatively dry we'll study in detail when we go to climate i'll teach you we'll be studying mediterranean type of climate in detail okay and this is the biggest exceptions of climate eight months of summer drought and that is why you can see plants in the mediterranean part which will have short growth stunted growth they won't be very big trees because they have to survive this eight months of drought and the roots would be xerophytic it would go down in search for water okay